a few years after you'd gotten over here, you were the backup to Tim Thomas at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, what was that my fourth year maybe? Yeah. Because I started, I had a lot of starts that my third year here. And then, you know, we lost a infamous series to Flyers. And then, you know, we go to Europe, start the next season. We don't know who's going to be the starter. So teammate takes a job. We played you. I was there. Yeah, was, yeah. I was yeah. There what guy. a great time. Huh? That was awesome, buddy. Prague. <laughs> Worked out for <laughs> us, but not for the Coyotes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys must have partied more than we did. Oh, yeah. That was, we were done after that trip. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I well, thought we would be too. But yeah. No. Spent my salary at the, the, the discotheques there. <laughs> the bar discotheques. The women there were incredible. Oh. You go to the grocery store and like the clerks were tw 20 out of 10. But, uh, but 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 back to your team. Sorry to hog the mic here. <laughs> but you guys, yeah, you guys started the year over there and that was a... Yeah. But it was an open competition at that point? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I we lost... Coach I, and then Julian, obviously. Yeah, Claude was, yeah. I, I started the first game. I think we lost 4-1 or something. Timmy played the second one and probably had a shutout or something. And then, you know, he played most of the games. We split the net during the regular season quite a bit that year but then he obviously playoffs was out of this world how he played uh, but yeah so that was my fourth year in the league and you know we won't win so they say hey you know it's kind of yeah this is easy. this is easy you know probably can every year show up just go to the finals and like you know Sagan was whatever 19 yeah at the time so we had like a bunch of us young guys put him in that game against Tampa and he had like a couple sick goals right it was like his coming out part of like they have this guy too yeah Right, yeah, and then, so that was that was a good run. What was the relationship like with Thomas? Like, I know him a little from the Olympic team. We actually were the two guys who missed the flights home because we were out the night before. But like a different guy and such different goalies, right? Like, like you just stand there and the puck hits you, and he's fucking kicking and out of position. <laughs> yeah. But as a guy, was he helpful? It was it seemed to me maybe he could be like kind of get away from me. It's my net. Like, I guess there's different relationships and all that. Yeah, no, not at all. Because I think. We learned a lot from each other. You know, I think, he, well, f first of all, he played in Finland for a long time. So he's like half Finnish. He still has a bunch of friends. Really? You know, over there. Yeah. So that helped. We had the same agent and you know, all that helped. Um, but yeah, I think just to watch him in practice and how much he battled kind of like gives me as a young guy kind of like, well, hell, I just can't like... Yeah. be the first rounder here who's kind of like fucking get the job on and you know so you actually have to work for it so he taught a lot in that sense and maybe from my end you know like being calm and like more technical than he was you know he probably took some out of that and then you know goalie bob the his, legend coach you know awesome guy right? yeah he's an awesome guy his his gear was terrible though the way he was oh, 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 oh helmet and stuff oh, oh. would you ever chirp him about oh. that stuff <laughs> yeah you think <laughs> <laughs> but he like I was I was polar opposite of that because like I stuck with the same gear like I never changed to a point where like these equipment guys are like come on like oh this he was is just gonna harassing help you. him let's yeah let's just like get you some new you know chest pads or something I'm like no no, no I'm I'm good but Timmy would have like a garage full of pads he would just like fix him by himself and show up one day and like bring this new invention he has just created come on yeah. like what was what was the craziest thing that he changed about his gear and, and brought it to the ring i think we didn't we talk to somebody when they had a goalie where they created like a claw on the end of the uh, the skate blade so they could push off a little bit better the way that they would they would sharpen it probably was it stuff with the skates well everything one year it was towards his last years here he like eddie belfour i guess trademark some like uh you know like the outside part of the goalie skates whatever so timmy like contacted him and like asked his permission to wear them so they were like from the fucking 1970s <laughs> look like you know this is like 2010 he built his helmet too right he built his helmet. timmy yeah yeah i, yeah, I don't his know own you, helmet yeah you gotta try to get a hold of him and ask what the craziest thing is i, I think yeah, I, I don't know if he has the internet where he's <laughs> living in a <laughs> yes. bunker so we'll are see you, are you able to keep in touch with him yeah 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 i talk to him every once in a while what's the story like he just moved off the grid after i think it's all like kind of like embellished of him like living in a bunker but yeah i don't think he's in the he's mix. not living in a he's, bunker he's, <laughs> he's, I he's not in the freaking it, prudential tower here i, I saw downtown. him recently he actually vermont had horrible flooding like and he went out and helped and did a ton of oh, wow. like uh volunteer work to really help that state he played at uvm but I, I i more make the joke i just think when he was done he's like i'm I'm out. Like, he's not interested in doing media. He's not yeah, interested yeah. in any of that stuff. Right, yeah.